uh, we're headed to Utah, Park City, Utah for Sundance. Um, I'm so excited, but mostly tired because we've been up since, well, I've been up since 3.45, so, um, but <laughs> we're like, what, two hours in, an hour and a half in, and we have like five hours to go. Is that a squirrel? I'm good, I just needed some elevation. Got to see the sights, new perspective. I think this is the first leg of the trip. We made it to Nevada and never been to Nevada. Um, yeah, hanging in there. I've been asleep for most of the time, so. <laughs> What's crack a lacking? What's happening? What's what up with it? it? A nice person, like, no, because yeah, we were we walking on the side oh, of the road. We were gonna die, and she was like, Do you need a ride? And we were like, Yes! Alright, everybody, so Vero, do you wanna start? Yeah. I mean, uh, so basically we have a pretty hectic weekend coming up. I can tell you tomorrow we have our premiere. Woo! And the way that it works. Some of you guys are gonna be going to individual events. Some of you guys are gonna be going to Q and A's. The premiere happens on Thursday, by the way, like a festival works, is that we're constantly gonna be having screenings throughout the week. So it's a huge thing. Like, damn, I'm just a kid from, from the hood, and I, I never thought that I would be here in Utah. First time out of California. First time seeing snow. First time I had like a Airbnb. It's pretty cool. Getting ready for the premiere. Y'all ready? Summertime 2020. That's how we do it. He said he had more followers than me, man. Look, I have a whole three followers. Okay, and I earn those followers. My mom, my dad, and my sister. Okay. Meet over there, are you ready? Or just turn your chair. It's unbelievable that you're all here. I think people are gonna freak out when they see the movie and see you all. I'm very happy that we're all here. I got, I got, got very emotional looking at Vero's Instagram updates yesterday of all of you traveling. Uh, it's kind of crazy. This doesn't happen. Like I think sometimes people bring five or six, like maybe close to 10 crew members, but we submitted a request for uh, the event that's happening tomorrow. We got a slightly upset email back saying like, we cannot give you guys 64. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, I'm so glad I had it, it was great. Oh my God, it's so nice out. I said I didn't bring my sunglasses. Wait, 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 wait. Come into the sun. Yeah, this is great. Today is all of our press stuff. <laughs> Lots of just interviews and photos. Hi, I'm Leonard Malton. Oh, hello. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hi, what an honor. Yeah, right. Can well, I introduce you to our young poet? Sure, of in course. Summertime? Of course. This is Markeisha Baker. Hi, I'm Markeisha. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm, I'm so happy for you guys that you got so, so much exposure your first weekend on the first weekend here and I, I, I just said that the festival must think very highly of your film to give you four spots four prime spots opening weekend Thank you. and in terms of your film's future you couldn't have a better launch pad because all eyes are on this festival especially opening weekend as you proved what I've known all along poets Love pizza. <laughs> Poets love pizza. Poetry reminds me of music. It's more powerful than anything you could say. Like what I do, we talk. And talk and talk and talk. <laughs> but in what you do, you write something <clears throat> that's so tight and so powerful. Like it's so powerful you could make a movie out of it. Can I start with the story of him? This is how my text messages go with David. <laughs> Diane, I'm gonna be late to work. I'm like touring and doing all this stuff, and I and I might not. I don't know what's gonna happen, and I'm and then like cut to two years later. David, can I have tickets to Hamilton? <laughs> <laughs> David Diggs was my very first poetry teacher, like ever, and like 
I didn't, like, I used to write poetry. I've been writing since I was nine, but I didn't know. I thought it was just like, okay, I'm going through a hard time. Let me write this down. I didn't know, like, I could actually do it, like, for a living, and I can, like, make all of these opportunities from it. And he showed me that I could, and, like, still making the time to come and, like, let us know that we're still important and that our voices and our words yeah. are important, yo. And this is this is amazing to be here right now with it's him. It's so crazy, but Great. look at, yeah, I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> the thing about it is, oh, yeah. kids who grow up in the, in the slam scene or like just doing spoken word are particularly good at writing films um, mm. because it forces you to get to the point very quickly, but beautifully. Right? It's all about um, trying to get across all of the, you figure out what information is necessary, you figure out what are you doing to, to floss, like what's where the style is, and it's, it's this very like condensed, immediate um, kind, of, kind of writing. And so like young poets grow up to be great screenwriters.